In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the RetroArch emulator on your Mac. I'll have separate videos covering how to set it up on Windows, Android, your Steam Deck, your ROG Ally, with the Ally X or the Xbox versions. But this is for the Mac, and this isn't an emulator in itself. It allows you, it's like a multi emulator. It has what they call different cores in there. And many of those cores are standalone or they have standalone emulators, but they're essentially like, like the, you can think of it. I'm not going to say it's not essentially always a BIOS file, but it's like a BIOS file, which it's the core, it's that emulator. So if you have a PlayStation 1 core, it will essentially emulate the PlayStation 1. If you have a, what's it called, a, a, a Game Boy Advance core, it'll be for that particular emulator. My recommendation is anything PS1 and for handheld PSP era or earlier, RetroArch is great. Anything newer, so RetroArch actually supports PS2, GameCube and, and Wii, for example, I recommend using the actual emulator for that. So for PS2, it be PCSX2. For Wii and GameCube, it will be Dolphin emulator. Just because those emulators, you know, the games for those consoles can require some customization or sometimes quite a lot of customization. And I find it's better, especially with something like Wii, where you're trying to emulate that pointer, you know, the Wii remote, the Wii mote, it's just easier and better if you are using those emulators. But otherwise, if you're going really retro, RetroArch is really good. Like it just handles a lot of the settings for you, the controller settings, the graphic settings, just works really, really well. Okay, so first of all, we need to go ahead and download RetroArch. You just Google RetroArch. You wanna to go to download, scroll down. So there's a couple of options. You can download it on Steam. The other thing you need to determine is if you have what version you have. You just go to your Apple icon, click about this Mac, it'll tell you there. If you have this one, select this. If not, you'll be Intel only, or you can download Universal. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this, close this down, open up the DMG file, and just click it, drag that over to Applications. That's now installed it. We can close this. We can eject this and you can delete this original file as well so if we scroll down RetroArch is there we can now double click it it'll say open if it's saying you know it's been blocked for example what you want to do is uh, yeah mine's saying game because I've already you know done some configuration previously but I'll show you how to configure it anyway so you want to go to system settings if it blocks your application scroll down Go to privacy and security, scroll down again, and where it says security, it will say your application being blocked. Click allow. It will ask you for your password. This is the password you log into your Mac, not your Apple account. And then you're good to go. That's a one time thing only. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you in terms of navigation. If you have a controller selected, like an Xbox controller, you know, plugged in, it just works out the box. You don't need to configure it. Or you can use the keyboard and mouse. So you can use the arrows to go up and down. And you can select a menu item or press an enter. To go back, you press backspace. That's main the main things, you know, at this part of the system. So the other thing I'm going to show you is the different themes. Because some people don't like these themes. So you go down, go to drivers, go to menu. Ozone is default. XMB is the cross media bar, which is what PSP and PS3 have, which is quite nice. I'm going to select that. You do need to quit it, reopen it, and there we go. Like I said, if you have a controller, it works great. Otherwise, I've sh you know told you the keys for the keyboard. And now what we need to do is load core. So if you click load core, click download a core, and now you find the core. So for example, I'm doing Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Nintendo Game Boy Advance. That downloads that core. You'll also notice for any particular console that you want to emulate, there will probably be different cores. These essentially were, you know, different emulators. I know MGBA is like a good one for this. If you have any questions of my recommended core for a particular console, comment down below and I'll help you out. Another one I'm going to do is Sony PlayStation 1. So scroll down. You, do, 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 do. I'm going to do PCSX Rearmed. Now that, that is done, we need to actually import our content. So click Import. Scan Directory. Click Enter. Now here, depending on where your folder is. So for me, I've got a folder on the desktop. 
called ROMs. In there, I've got two games. If you want to access an external drive, you go to Volumes. This is where your external drives will be, and then you can just you know access it via you know like so. But I'm going to use what's on my desktop to you know get to your desktop. You go to Users, your username from Use for Han, and then you select Desktop Documents, for example. So Desktop. Go to ROMs. I'm going to click scan this directory. So scanning directory finished. It will scan subdirectories as well. Bear in mind if you have a lot of folders, a lot of games, it can take a bit of time. And we just click backspace to go back. Like I said, most of the time you can leave the settings as is. So you can go to setting it defaults to the best video driver, which in this case is Vulkan. You can change the scaling as well and synchronization. But the whole beauty of using something like this is it just works really really well and now if we scroll over we have our games there's no cover art to get cover art is really simple you go to online updater playlist thumbnails update. select which one you want so let's say if it's Game Boy Advance it's downloaded it I'm gonna do PlayStation now as you can see we now have cover art okay so the other thing to bear in mind some emulators might require bios files and in terms of installing the bios file you want to go to settings directory this will show you where you need to go so for system bios you can you know select a different folder but this is where you'll need to go so from its users for Han documents retroarch system so if i open up uh, documents retroarch system this is where you put your bios files for example because i've got some you know if you need bios files i need to put them there and then they'll automatically work apart from that we're good to go now you i'm just going to launch up the game click enter click run <laughs> you'll go full screen that's just the F key. If you press F1, you'll go into sort of the pause menu. In here, you can resume, restart, close content. You can access save states, which is a great way of saving any point in the game, even if you haven't hit a this built in save functionality. There's some core options, like the video, for example, so you can, you know, potentially increase the resolution for certain games. Oh, honestly, you can leave that as is. Controls, you can leave as is. And another cool one is on screen overlay. So if you go on screen overlay, display overlay, overlay preset, and uh, let's say you can do gamepad, GBA, and uh, we we'll do this one. So what you'll do is around, uh, press F1, and around the edges, you'll just pull up a little in sort of order, depending on what console you're using. Overlay you use some look better than others, and that's it. I'm just gonna all finish now. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future emulation content. Let me know what other emulation videos you would like to see next. And this was RetroArch on the Mac, really easy to set up. And it's a great emulator that supports a lot of different consoles and they just work really, really well. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.